I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report for MidHudsonNews.com. Thank you to my sponsor, Making Faces Salon and Spa in Poughkeepsie and Fishkill. Everything from hair and makeup services to beautiful cocktail dresses. Call them today, 296-0700 or online, MakingFacesUSA.net. Well, now the El Salvadoran Council General in Los Angeles has asked Charlie Sheen to apologize for what he says were disrespectful comments about the Central American nation. That's right, Walter Duran made the remarks at a news conference held in response to Sheehan, who said earlier this week that he'd rather move to El Salvador and sell shoes than battle his estranged wife in court for custody of their twin sons. Ouch. Duran also asked Sheen to consider opening a shoe factory. Not a bad idea. He is looking for work, after all. He said it's an opportune time since El Salvador recently began giving away shoes to needy students. He says he hopes Sheen will correct his comments about the country as soon as possible. Of course, Sheen's 23-month-old sons with a strange wife, Brooke Mueller, were removed from his home last week. Well, I'm sorry to tell you that you're going to have to take back the toaster you bought for the gorgeous Sophie Monk's wedding. The engagement is off. Yes, Monk broke the news during an interview with Chelsea Handler on her talk show. Handler asked about Monk's engagement to, quote, that old guy, her way of describing Monk's 50-year-old fiancé. Monk told her she's newly single. They had been engaged just six weeks. Oh, well. So Secret Millionaire has paid off for ABC. It did well and crushed America's next great restaurant on NBC. Secret Millionaire also had a larger audience than CBS's two established reality shows on Sunday night. That would be Undercover Boss and Amazing Race. And Celebrity Apprentice got off to a decent start, but didn't make the top 20. Three editions instead of the usual two of American Idol helped Fox win the ratings race last week. So despite his years in film, Robert De Niro says he still can't do anything he wants in Hollywood. Right. He notes the troubles and delays he experienced with The Good Shepherd, the 2006 CIA tale that he directed and starred in. De Niro doubts he could make a similar film now. He says people don't really want to do those kind of movies nowadays. Still, De Niro says he does have a choice of roles that other actors would envy, and he says he can't complain. The actor's latest film, Limitless, debuts in theaters March 18th, and in it, De Niro plays a mega mogul. Co-star Bradley Cooper plays an unsuccessful writer whose life is transformed after he discovers a secret drug that allows him to use 100% of his brain. Do you remember former Disney Mouseketeer Annette Funicello? Well, sadly, she has suffered smoke inhalation from a fire that badly damaged her L.A. home. But her former husband says she wasn't seriously injured. The blaze was in Encino and was doused in less than a half hour. A fire spokesman says two women, one of them in a wheelchair, and a man were hospitalized for smoke inhalation and are in good condition. Funicello's ex-husband, Jack Gillardi, says the 68-year-old actress was at home with her current husband and a nurse. Funicello has multiple sclerosis. Gillardi says they were exposed to smoke but will recover. Of course, you remember Funicello was a mouseketeer on TV's Mickey Mouse Club back in the 50s. So Bill Cosby has not run out of words or wisdom. The actor and comedian will have a new book of humor called I Didn't Ask to Be Born, But I'm Glad I Was. It's coming out in November. The Hatchet Book Group announced Thursday that Cosby will be writing about everything from the Bible to grandchildren to his first date. Cosby's previous books include Fatherhood and Time Flies. Avril Lavigne believes it's okay to have product placement in her videos especially if it's her own products. That's right, in the video for What the Hell, Levine enters a vintage clothing store that has a section for Abby Dawn, her clothing line. At the beginning of the video, she sprays herself with one of her own perfumes. You may not recognize the woman Levine says hello to as she enters the store. That's her mom. Her album Goodbye Lullaby album is out this week. In local entertainment news, a live recording session for a worldwide podcast featuring original music by Sarah Finn with Joel Bluestein and Jeffrey Barnes and Kyle Esposito will be held tonight. That's tonight, March 13th at 8 p.m. at Harmony Music. That's 52 Mill Hill Road in Woodstock, and there's a $5 admission charge. 
Well, thank you to my sponsor, Making Faces Salon and Spa. Check out their line of American-made mineral makeup. You are going to love it. It's called Avis Cosmetics. You can find it online, Avis, that's A-V-A-S, cosmetics.net. That's your latest entertainment report. For a new update daily, log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly.